Welcome to today's episode of Class B Confessions, where we answer your frequently asked questions about living in a Class B RV. We've been living in our Airstream Interstate for over two years now, and we can't wait to share what we've learned with you. My name's Aaron, this is my wife Chris, who's Irene, and let's get into it. Today's video is a question that came to us from Eric Lorenzen on YouTube comment. If you have a question, leave it in a comment or DM me on our Instagram, Irene Iron Fitness at Instagram. So Eric's question is in regard to the bed and it is a two part question. So for your bed setup, do you use a fitted sheet and blanket or do you have a full sheet set? And hypothetically, if you had to sleep four adults in here, can you do it? Is it possible? And how do you achieve that? And so we get a lot of questions about the bed setup. So we thought it would just be easy to set it up and show you exactly what we do use. Okay, so I make this bed in kind of two parts, the first half, and then I do the second half. And we keep all of our bedding in this entire cabinet. The sides are kind of like our winter storage. And so this and about, I don't know, 18 inches is all bedding. So pretty simple. We like this bed setup. I take the pillows and, and the rests, armrests, and I move them. And then move the power sofa down like that. So we do use a fitted sheet. This is a king size sheet, isn't it, Chris? That's right. Okay, so a fitted king size sheet. It's got these corners with the seams on them. And the key is to get the corner wrapped around each corner. So once that corner's in, you find the other seam and you're gonna wrap that and kind of tuck it underneath. And then that's half of it right there. And so here I'm gonna put our armrests for kind of some extra pillows. These are our couch throw pillows. And then we have two full size pillows that go down like that. And then I'll step out and we'll make the rest of the sheet behind us here. And so our uh, side uh, seats kind of just flip down like that. And then I'll do the same thing in the corners. I'll just take the seam right there and I'll tuck it and wrap it around the corner nice and tight. Same thing like that. Whoa, close. <laughs> so Chris, why don't you jump in there and then we'll show you the rest of it. Okay, so we have a tiny little throw blanket that Chris likes to use just as extra blanket. Sometimes you'll use that in the van which I put up in the corner. It's my cuddle blanket. This is a 12 volt blanket that we just got. And what we've been doing is putting this underneath that fitted sheet. I forgot to throw it underneath there, but this warms up the bed from below and it's pretty slick. So it just goes underneath that fitted sheet. And so our next layer of sheets, and I used to fold these a long time ago. I don't fold them anymore just because we make and unmake the bed every single day. But it's a top sheet, so it's a, this would be the, the full set. So we have the fitted, and then we have a regular top sheet. And then our next layer, this is a duvet cover. So it's kind of like a really heavy double sheet. You know, it's designed to have a uh, down comforter inside of it. And so this on top of that sheet, that would be kind of like our summer setup. So when it's really hot outside, this would be what we would sleep in. And then the last blanket we have is another <sighs> duvet cover along with a light down blanket. So like a down alternative blanket. And so this we'll put on also in the winter time. And that kind of gives us like a, a complete setup. And so you can see what's left up here. This is the 12 volt blanket, which would be lying on underneath the sheet. Um, and you can kind of see that little bit of room there. 
But for the second part of this question, could you sleep for adults? Well, it, this is a pretty big bed. I think it's 68 by like 72 inches. So you could fit three people in here. If you really wanted to get crazy, you could fit four people in there. What I will say to that though, if you're close enough friends where you can pile in here comfortably and sleep the night, that's, that's your situation. But when people get up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom, if one person wakes up, they're gonna wake everybody else up. So keep that in mind. Now in ours, we have this long, thin runway. So somebody could sleep on the floor there would not be very comfortable and then we have a little bit it's kind of dark here but of a section if you could sleep side to side but honestly it, that would not work very well they do make beds that go on the sprinter seats so like an extra bed but you'd have to be fairly short to be able to sleep side to side i would think and those kits take up a lot of storage space so they if do you, that's if like you a have weekend four thing people in here plus four people's belongings Plus, a st plus an extra bed kit, it's not gonna be comfortable to travel with. We did pick this floor plan based on the bed being convertible. We knew that we wanted the extra living space. We just talked about this in a previous video and we definitely wanted it to be workable during the day. So we wanted the bed to be up and down, up and down, up and down. That is a pro for us. Now, it also can double as a con because it's you know taking those steps every day. Also, a big con in my opinion, is there's no napping during the day. So if somebody is sick or if somebody is just tired or if you're older and you like napping, whatever it is, you really can't do that unless you take a nap just on the couch itself. So that covers this topic about our bed, how we make it, and the ins and outs of our bedding, what we carry. So leave a question on any topics that you wanna see covered and we will keep these confessions coming.